ZR2 and um, just doing a little video that people uh, keep asking about. Um, just a little walk around of it, uh, cover some basic stuff. It does have the uh, BDS prototype lift on it. I have been running for um, about seven months now and uh, it's been extremely good. Uh, 35 inch Falcon mud tires on it. Um, big question I get on the lift is does it keep the shocks and I can't go into much detail on the lift but yes it does indeed keep the factory DSSV shock absorbers. I do have um, the diesel springs on there painted silver um, just for a little accent. Uh, I do have the sway bar off of it as well. Uh, it gives it a little more articulation and smoother ride off-road and the diesel springs give it uh, a little bit better spring rate for um, off-road usage and on-road driving as well. Um, it's a deep wood green metallic. As you can tell, um, I have custom sliders that I welded onto them um, and they do get used quite a bit. They work very well for a, uh, a step. Um, I do have fuel vector wheels, uh, 17 by 8.5 plus 7 millimeter offset. Um, just a little bit of blacking out on some of the badges. Uh, as you can see, the sliders do get their fair share of usage, as does uh, the rest of the truck. If you've seen in some of the videos, I am uh, not too easy on it, and it handles perfectly. Here is my bed setup as of now. It, uh, it's a Gladiator cargo net, which I highly recommend. Um, a Plano. Sportsman tote, another highly recommended. I got the high lift over here. And then I got um, some bull rings for uh, extra mounts on the, um, on the uh, cargo net there. Uh, full size 35 inch spare on a custom rack that I made up for it. Probably can't see well in this video. Um, another thing I have done is the exhaust. Got the high clearance exhaust welded up here with the thrush muffler. Sound clip. The truck did come. Um, with the Chevy Performance stickers, which I happen to, they grew on me quite a bit. The first uh, week or two I owned the truck, I wasn't sure about them right away, but uh, it goes with the green really well. Um, another question I get on the lift kit is does it keep the factory skid plate? Obviously, yes it does. Um, as you can see, there's a quite a bit more ground clearance with the added tires and the um, and it just looks more aggressive uh, going down the road which these already look very aggressive as they are do a little sound clip for you with the exhaust do a couple revs muffler I'm running is a Thrush Hush Turbo Muffler. Um, I think it's about 30 bucks on Amazon. And uh, it's worked really well. It drones a bit, so I'm probably going to redo the exhaust. But I end up putting about five different exhaust systems on everything I've owned so far. 
Uh, other than that, yeah, that's just a basic walk around of the truck. Um, a little bit more ground clearance views, as you can see. It's uh, definitely a lot more ground frame clearance than stock, and then uh, better, way better approach and uh, departure angles as well. Um, what else? You got front window tint 20% to match the rear and then uh, the back window I got 5% over factory um, I really don't like people seeing in the back of my vehicles when I'm going down the road and it just helps darken the cabin up quite a bit when you're driving uh, hope you all enjoyed the videos any questions um, go ahead and ask